Hello MechWarriors, how is it going and welcome to another episode of MechWarrior Online. Today guys it's time to play the Bold. We are playing the Roughneck Hero because this guy here it has the quad high mounted ballistics and as you can see we are running some Rotary 2 action today. This thing spits bullets left and right and I love it because uh, first of all take a look at the quirks here. We have a 10% cooldown quirk which doesn't apply to Rotary Autocannons sadly but we have a 10% heat quirk as well as a 10% velocity quirk and it is a Roughneck so we have a good chunk of armor and structure so this guy has survivability as well it's perfect for a facetime build we need to deliver our damage over time because we spit a million tiny bullets that will deal a lot of damage if you can focus down your enemies and you know that's the plan for today we can have a total of three rock twos fired at the same time without running into ghost heat so we're gonna use those and yeah as you can see the rest of the build is a bunch of medium lasers here we got three extended range ones because we want to fight at about like four to 500 meters and be somewhat safe and um, the rest is ammunition plus one heat sink here light engine 250 as well as a targeting computer for a little bit more sensor range for a little bit of faster targeting time as well as projectile speed and a bit of a crit chance so that's really good it also helps with the laser beam range as well so it's kind of a nice addition and uh, yeah i just wanted to have it because we don't need anything else in the mech it's just very straightforward it's uh, a bullet spitting tough mech that that can stand on its own. One thing I would probably change after playing a bunch of games is drop the double heatsink, drop half a ton of ammo, and with that you can actually get uh, an AMS or maybe even a laser AMS because the mech is not as hot as it seems. It's actually very very manageable. So this amount of ammunition is probably good enough for the three rotary autocannon twos and with that you have a little bit more protection uh, taking down some of these nasty nasty missiles that are fired at you but ams is very situational so if there are no enemies that shoot missiles at you it's basically dead weight so it's kind of up to you whether or not you want to have more ammo or maybe just a bigger engine if you fancy a bit more speed now take a look at the skill build here before we dive into the games and as you can see we have no cooldown because again rocks are a constant rate of fire weapon cooldown doesn't affect it but we have range heat gen as well as one point of velocity that we are missing here all right magazine capacity to fill up our ammo bins a bit more as well as the ramp down duration so that doesn't help with the jam chance this one here for the rocks it means that you ramp the the gauge down a bit faster before you jam uh, when you stop firing obviously we have skeletal density and armor hardening maxed out and we need that because we again we are a face time build we will catch some return fire while focusing down on the enemy components so make sure that you are as survivable as you can get and then a bit of cool run and heat containment and again after playing a bunch of games i'm like meh i don't think you need it so what i would do is drop these first of all <laughs> max out the uh, velocity here and then you have a bunch of points that you could either drop into i don't know speed tweak by uh, sacrificing hill climb as well or um yeah put it into honestly i don't know there, there's nothing necessarily needed maybe seismic sensor or something again it's up to you but Apart from it, we got some radar deprivation, so I can break locks if I need it, and we got capture assist as well. It seems to be an old skill build. <laughs> Don't do that. Why did I have that? <laughs> oh boy. Double cool shot, uh, double double strike. Uh, strikes are use useful. Cool shot is not a uh, god. What did I do here? Go for UAVs. So I'm gonna show you the build. I'm gonna show it to you. Um, I probably go for a speed tweak, <laughs> and then. I don't know, give it three points of more, no, less rated deprivation and seismic sensor. I think, I think this is it. Uh, so one more point, whatever, give it, uh, actually, drop rated derp, get hill climb, that's the build. <laughs> <laughs> guys i wish y'all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming now if you have that don't forget to leave a rating subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and now it's time to hit the battlefield Alrighty, guys first game of the day we are playing the grim plexus we are playing domination that's gonna be interesting i'll be playing uh, ring around the rosy here i'll be running around in circles around the circle or do we just hold the gulf 7 area we will see so we have a good chunk of range also i think <laughs> weapon groups would be very nice um, oh god, do I do it like this? I think that's gonna be my weapon group setup, so I can, yeah, I can hold down my two mouse buttons and then also use my mouse wheel. Yeah, I can tilt it to the left and to the right. It's a very, very convenient button here. Um, so then I have the lasers on it as well. Pretty good. All right. 
So, we want to stagger our shots. So I have my racks set up on mouse button one, the left rotary, and mouse button two, the other two rotaries. You could even stagger them further if you have the mouse buttons and the skill on your hands to manage three uh, weapon groups for basically a single group of weapons, because um, more bullets to the face in a uh, quick succession is usually better. So let's, uh, let's see. Uh, by the way, early game, I'm not gonna peek because I will probably get hit by Gauss rifles, PPCs, all the good long-range stuff, which I cannot retaliate to, so... Mm. Let's not take the unnecessary damage and wait until the battlefield has uh, tightened a bit. That is a tight battlefield already. Oh, that's everybody. It's like a lot of skirmishers there. Not the perfect target for us. We want to go for big boys, big hitboxes, slow targets, so we can... Ah, uh, this is bait. This is bait. Um, so we can hit them a bit more uh, sustained. All right, I'm gonna wait. There is nothing here I want to do yet. Again, these skirmishers, they can just hit and run and uh, dump a lot of damage without me being able to focus them down um, before they run away again. Oh, there's a UAV. Okay, let's take it. Rup. Not dead? Okay. Good. So we grazed it. There's an Atlas. Perfect target, to be honest. So let's try. We're gonna use this to shield us from the left side. There's a guy. Hello. Hello, blood ass. I should have shot my lasers as well, but hey. <laughs> he didn't see it coming. I also dropped Artie. Uh, yeah, and it's coming down, doing exactly nothing. Interesting. Means that the uh, the Blood Asp was alone there, and we certainly want to build our firing line here now. Again, this is all about suppression as well as dealing damage. Okay, going to Fox 8 now. I want to get those Assault Max down. Oh, there's one guy here. Uh, it's an Axe. Oh god, that's a bad boy. Uh, let's get Juliet. He's out of position. Gotta watch my left side, though. He might be covered from here. All right, still on it, and here we go. It's not optimal. I don't want to push too hard here. Don't want to expose myself. That's it. Take that side away, take the other side away, and get the kill. Got him. He overheated. I took a lot of damage as a result, but I think it was totally, totally worth it. Um, yeah, we have enemies behind us. It's a skirmish that's attacking our assault mechs, but you know what? I'm sorry, guys. I'm really sorry. That's a problem. That is a huge problem. <laughs> All right, I cannot, I cannot peek that firing line, not with my sustained damage. Uh, actually, maybe I could. Actually, we have friends here. Uh, I'm gonna dive down. They are watching the side and they assume that we are put it, uh, pulling back down again. But what if he push through? What if he just do that? Bird. I guess we got the kill. I'm stuck. Why am I stuck? I don't know. Okay, so we got two and two, looking great. We got three and two now. Uh, yes, and we're gonna get assistance over to the other side of the battlefield again. It's another Atlas up top. How damaged is he? The answer is yes, that's perfect. We got the facehugger Atlas. Yeah, we need to take top now. Let's go ahead and cross instead of running around. Take the Atlas with us on the way down. Uh-huh, four and three. Again, I'm very well aware of what happened here. Dire Wolf, perfect target. Nah, not with the Phoenix Hawk who's crossing here. <sighs> I hate being on the right flank. Kind of unsupported. And we have these weird structures. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. There's an archer, there's a timber wolf, and some more. There's a guy. Okay, push him down. We gotta unjam the rocks a little bit. Timby is killable. Good. Uh, I wanna stay on timber. Let's go for it. Come on. Come on. Got him. All right. It took a little while, but we got him in the end. And this is where we die, unless we have friends. Okay, let's try to fight our way through this. Oh, boy. That was scary. Okay. One of the last enemies here. And we got another kill. I love this thing. He just spit bullets left and right. So we have dominance over the circle. Nobody is here contesting it by the enemy. Um, does it mean we are out of enemies? There's a strike coming down, so somebody was watching this area. What are you fighting there? I don't know. You got him in the end. <laughs> All right, damage and 
um, yeah, armor and survivability. That's what we have here. Armor center also is completely open, though, because we had to stare down the enemies and they were just focusing us back, but we survived. We got two killing blows, we got two KMDDs with 732 damage done, six components destroyed. That was the first round, everybody. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alrighty, guys, second game of the day. We are playing Alpine Peaks, we are playing Conquest, and I'm very happy that it, this is Conquest and not Skirmish or Assault, because this is a sniper map. However, Conquest actually drives the teams closer together, and I actually like that. So, we're gonna probably drop to Theta. India 7 is a good spot to be. We have high ground there, or we could get high ground there. Speaking of, what are you doing there on the horizon? Am I gonna see blue-purple particles coming my way now? Huh? Anything? No? Good. Thank you. <laughs> uh, again, we're gonna go to Theta and then probably take this ramp. The enemies will try to get this high ground position there. And I am just hoping that we have some friends around us when that happens. So let's see what we can do. Uh, of course, high ground superiority is uh, gonna be a problem because enemies can peek easily over this ridge. And I have, I'm gonna have a hard time retaliating with my damage over time build. But um, there's hope. There's absolute hope that we can get this done. We might want to go around India 7 right side, but there's also the chance that enemies are setting up, yeah, here on the ridge. They will. 1300 meters. No point shooting here. Um, so this is going to be a hot spot, which means we probably have to go left side, right? Okay, there's an assault mech. Definitely hittable. Uh, not from here, though. Not from here. Okay, we're going to dive down to the left side. This is already being capped, and oh my god. Bird. Gotta love that. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, that's damage. So, ramp it down. Go for Atlas. Missed it. Missed it. Uh, wait, is this... Oh, I dropped behind them. Oh, no. I actually dropped my Arty Strike, but not on point. All right. That was a good trade, though. Want to do it again? I have some lasers as well, even. Oh, God. So, um, let's go ahead and try to get the Assault Mech on the left side. My team seems to go there, and I want to help out. Uh, yeah, so nothing about India 7. Right side sniping. We can... Uh, yeah, man, the Gargoyle. It doesn't really stand a chance against us here if he's coming around. But I need to make sure that I'm not exposing my back to this. I want to help, that's for sure. Oh, uh, scary. Stay on this. All right. So, on Mr. Gargoyle now. He's getting completely flanked. I'm not going to be fast enough to join that fight, will I? Uh, I mean, that UAV is nasty, but who cares? We want to join the fight. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. Alrighty then. So, we are overpowering our enemies. Lightmax, please take it. I'm a heavy. This is not my duty, right? The Lightmax can catch up easily. I want to stay in the fight. I want to bring my metal to the front line. My people are really aggressive. They are so eager to fight here. It's crazy. As a UAV. I'm gonna try to do it while moving. Uh, ah. Okay, maybe the laser beams? No. Okay, we got the UAV down. We gotta ramp down the racks though, so we can... Uh, yes, yes. We're gonna go to the right side. That's perfect. So... Uh, let's see what's going on here. Um, a thousand meters. We have a Waka down there. I want to just get my assist on him. And then help out here on an Atlas. Seems that there is a Jäger mech. Want to suppress him a little bit. Uh, and I think we have dominance over Epsilon. But what is happening here? God, I hate my high ground situation here. I might get shot by whatever is sitting there on the ridge. But nobody's coming. It's weird. Why is the enemy team so damn split? Oh, Atlas. I got DPS, you got DPS, you have more armor than I have. Um, uh, I'm jammed. Hello. Okay, let's go in again. Stay in motion. Do I just single-handedly kill an Atlas? Uh, yeah, that's a problem. I got to go, actually. Got to abandon my quest of Atlas destruction because there's everybody now. This is what I was talking about earlier. With me being alone here on the high ground, uh, it's kind of scary. Okay. Um, my center is open. My everything is open. Okay, so let's go back. Um, yeah, artillery is coming down, helping me out a little bit, and that should drive him back. So we can then we can then focus down whatever that is. It's 800 meters. Not optimal, but I don't want to expose myself too much anymore. Good. So where's Atlas? Atlas dead? 
I think this is the wreck of the Atlas. Yup, totally. Seven and two, looking great so far. High ground, India 8. Um, so they're on the hill now. Oh wait, we got a Locust here. Ah, uh, sneaky boy. Sneaky boy is sneak. That's better target. It's way better target. The Cougar, it's slower. <laughs> it's also light make, but it's slower. Missiles coming from the top, that's gonna be a problem. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna take it. Game is won anyways. Uh, is it though? Yeah, that's what I mean. That is what I mean. These PPCs are really nasty. That's Irby. What are you doing here, Irby? I have put myself in a very weird spot now. I'm in a kill box now. Uh, and I think I'm getting killed. All right, people are responding my call. Uh, I leave Irby there. I want to go for Timby because he's ATM. Oh God, he can shred me. He could. All right. Irby is coming back around. Can I? Should I? I should. I should. He was nasty to me. I'm going to be nasty to him now. Okay. Got him. And now for the Timberwolf, trying to maybe cut his path here. But it seems like he is actually engaging. So last guy I saw was somebody up here. The good news is we have the dominance over the capture points. I also am missing the Locust still that I saw earlier. Hmm. Did we get the Locust? I don't hear you, Star Lord. Sorry. Your mic seems to be borking. Yeah, so Kappa is being kept. I think I want to stay here in the center to intercept whatever is coming and trying to get some counter caps. It's, um, it's a close call right now with the cap game, but we have dominance over the capture points, so I don't think the enemies could really get it flipped, but... Oh, there they are. Oh, wait, what? A Thunderbolt that is... Mm, that is disconnected. That's a shame. He had no name above his face there. So, sad, sad Thunderbolt faces. Sorry, enemy team, that you were fighting one man down. But honestly, your team was so split that I would say it didn't matter too much. Anyways, I like that we could actually contest the, the Atlas there. That was real fun. Uh, and yeah, we still have a thousand bullets left. So should I change anything about the build? Maybe like an AMS or so? I don't know. Um, let me know what you think about it. We have one killing blow, three KMDDs with 642 damage done, as well as 442 taken. And that has been it for today, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.